Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saya Fin Jamal dan kita sedang berada dalam rancangan Parenting Pening. Jangan pada pening. <laughs> okay, so bersama saya adalah Syed Hussein dan juga our brother Aaron Aziz dan juga our sister Diana. Okay, Syed saya ada soalan seterusnya pula. Tadi kita dah cakap pasal anak macam menggunakan kita sebagai reference. So katalah sekarang ni dengan macam-macam, what do you call that? Macam apa outside punya influence kan? Ada influencer Instagram lah, social media lah, ada artis lah segala apa tu. So kita gunakan contoh paling senang lah. Kalau kita sebut K-pop, I'm so sorry anak-anak kat luar sana yang sangat-sangat suka kan kepada K-pop. But ini je lah reference zaman kita dulu, Hindustan. Betul lah? Ha. So kalau sebut Hindustan semua macam Histeria Syaruhan tu Tapi zaman ni orang sebut Korean lah Korean pop tu So Kids these days um, Apa kalau cakap pasal Artis yang orang suka ni They have the super obsession Sampai tak boleh sebut langsung Tak Macam maksum lah tu contohnya Tapi we do not want to use that word lah Tapi itu the term on the street lah Tapi macam mana Syah Kalau anak-anak kita Kita dapati Dia ada this obsession over This false idols Macam mana kita nak tarik dia keluar Syah Kita dah cakap dengan dia dah Okay ni salah Ini tak betul Jangan nak nulis Lepas tu Dia akan menggunakan reference kita juga dulu Mami dulu Dulu suka Hindustan. Habis kenapa kita sekarang nak suka K-pop tak boleh pula. Macam kalau mami boleh kontrol diri mami sekarang dah jadi orang, kita orang pun boleh. Just give us time. We are going to get better like you. Uh. Macam mana Syed? Yeah. We we know because kebetulan dia exposed mm-hmm. to all this kan. Kita dulu pun expose cara kita. Dia mm. sekarang cara dia. Sebab tu kita punya approach, kita tak menentang. Kita mm. nak bagi dia terima hakikat dulu ya. It's entertainment lah. This all mm. are entertainment. Okay. Yeah. K-pop is a music, mm. singing, orang muda pula, lawa pula, semua cukup bukan? Hanya sikit banyak kita boleh highlight tentang yang ada orang yang sudah mati, singer, yeah, yang muda-muda tapi end mm. drug lah mm. ini semua. Mm. Because they all ini, dia ada dunia, dia tak ada Tuhan, dia tak ada akhirat. Hanya bezanya kita orang Islam, if you believe that you are Muslim, we have both dunia dan akhirat. Bagi orang ini semua, they, they just dunia. So that's why everything is dunia. Akhirnya you see, the ending is not good, most of them. The ending is their suffering. How long? Tapi itu itu yang dia relate kan maksudnya they can relate to the idols because macam contohnya okay idols ni dia macam struggling, dia stress. Jadi I can relate to that. I pun stress, I pun uh, suffering. So uh, macam kalau kita gunakan contoh kita Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he's the perfect one. Perfect. Jadi macam uh, apa macam anak-anak ni dia macam tak dia tak nampak. Tak boleh. Ha, tak dia tak boleh. nampak relation yeah. tu. Ha, dia tak ni? boleh nampak kerana kebetulan benda itu sudah history ah. ghaibia you cannot see mm-hmm. it's just story tidak terbaca tapi tak boleh relate langsung mm-hmm. ini alive mm-hmm. dengan muziknya dengan itu entertainment dalam fitrah manusia mm-hmm. suka lahwi mm-hmm. Allah dah bagi tahu what the children is facing is not new to us as a muslim because dalam Allah dah kata innamal hayatud dunya laibun wa lahwun wa zinatun Hidup ini bermula dengan play, main. sonok, sonok, hmm. main saja. Ya, children kalau kecil-kecil, you bagi makan dan suruh dia main, dia main. Ya. Ha, sampai penat baru dia makan. <laughs> ya. Jadi, kedua zina. That's why dia facing now. Lakwi. Lakwi kedua, third one baru zina. Kedua lakwi berarti entertainment. And this is the world our teenagers is exposed. is an entertainment world. Tapa, kita, bagi saya lah. I will, they want to tengok-tengok lepas tu celah-celah kita masuk. Sikit-sikit. Supaya dia tahu uh, yang reality of life bagaimana. Ini actually K-pop ke singer cuma. They are quite a simple person. Yang nakal ni. Dia punya manager ke. <laughs> dia punya producer ke. Because they are thinking of money. Sebenarnya yeah. agak betul. Kadang-kadang we simple, we don't know how to move mm. pun. They use us. They use everything we have for their purpose. To get money, they make money. Kita innocently ikut. 
Ya, banyak sehingga tak mana popular kan. Tapi bila orang yang tengok kita punya suara okey, dia yang akan promote kita. Oh, but to to be famous, ah, you must make changes. You must. Ah, kita terikut. The same go all this singer ni. They may be a simple person tapi the promoter tu. The industry. Industry itu datang betul. because they think of money. Hmm. Hmm. They want to make you international, you national level. Hmm. I want to bring it to inter. Ah, kita pun suka. Hmm. Bila suka, you have to make changes. You have to do, you have to sacrifice. You have to follow this, follow that. Hilang. Kadang-kadang orang kita hanya manusia, nilai kita boleh tergadai tanpa disedari atas nama glamour. Nabi artis known to the world. Hmm. Memang kita lalai. Sebab itu kita ingatkan, you see, posun the singer banyak end with drug. Mm-hmm. Because you must have the energy, you know, so true. malam, yeah. so, so now they feed you say something, drug lah, liquor lah, all this self destruction. Orang tak sedar tu pada hakikatnya. And Tapi, this pon pun lepas kalau dah ni betul dia tak boleh nak keep up. Okay, bye. We have another one. Another one. Kita akan create juga. You see. So, yeah, this is very common. It, it, this is their challenges lah. Mm-hmm. Our lain dia punya tapi I believe Islam is relevant. Mm-hmm. That's why Islam is here to just keep on reminding. What zakir fa inna zikra tan falmu. We just have to remind them. Daripada langsung tak remind dia hanyut. We remind dia terasa lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is how they have to do. Slowly we hope at the end of the day Allah will give us victory. Ini amal ma'ruf naik mungkar is will not stop. It is an ongoing perjuangan. Ya, yeah, uh, yeah. kan tak boleh berhenti. Kita nak lari pun tak boleh. Nak lari pun tak kena. Lari nenek saya tadi ikut juga. Yeah. Ha, nanti dia susah kita cara lain pula. Okay. So we have to face reality. That's why the prophet give us guideline. Dia kata seorang so, beriman who mix around with the community, with the with the people and have patience to overcome whatever problem lebih baik daripada orang yang melari diri dari perjuangan. Then hmm. you ketinggalan tak sesuai. Bukan agama ini is not relevant anymore. Bukan agama tak boleh tackle. Hmm. Agama boleh tackle. Hanya agama come in from a different angle. Value. Kita hidup berapa lama? Is this your role model? Yeah, they can be you know, an entertainment for you. But they are not your role model. Your role model is ah kita tunjuk all the prophet is kalau orang Islam who is the best Allah dah kata lakat kana lakum fi rasuli uswatun hasna he is the best example as a teenager as a businessman as a why a fast husband as a as a father as a leader so it depends what do you want in your life if you want to be the best so you follow the best model this is also adalah dia pun punya Uh, cara dia lah tapi most of the singer don't have a good ending if they keep on ya yeah, semalam saya terdedah dengan Michael Jackson MJ yeah. okay. he get 12 doctor plus lagi berapa orang lagi to make sure that he will live for 150 years old hmm. dia ada doktor organ punya donors pun dah stand by kalau in case heart failure ke apa dia case organ donor that mean semua dia prepare the best kata seakan akan i think i can live for 150 years lah with all the preparation 50 years gone dia mati waktu umur 50 tahun you see this is just sign manusia boleh plan they think that they can do this do that but if allah said your time's up up lah so we all want Our children to have the best ending. The best ending is you must be careful from now. That's why Islamic punya uh, development is focusing on the BMS, body, mind, and soul. You want to entertain yourself? I, not, I will not stop you. But there must be a limit. Mm. Everything must be a limit. Your body also needs some exercise. Can you do the the types and all that? Laman mana sakit? Now the organ to one by one collapse because there's no movement. You need to move, go out, jog, go to the gym, and then do exercise. Mm. Just an example, and then the spiritual punya 
penyat reinforcement come in body mind and soul i think kalau we move into that direction tak kita mengkaji halang terus memang tak boleh halang pun yeah. you tak boleh tengok sini tempat lain dah tengok okay you ambil handphone daripada dia dia pinjam handphone kawan <laughs> and it think can happen today yeah. so you just have to face the reality and then keep on reminding and monitor that's how we move on reminding eh? reminding wa zakir fa inna zikratan fa almu'mi allah kata beri peringatan beri peringatan don't give up in the never mind. give up oh. if they don't give up how can we give up hmm. easy saja gitu oh ya mak bapak saya ni dia nak tak habis-habis you don't want them to nak you make some change lah. <laughs> senang saja who you think kan senang nak 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 tegurkan selalu tired that you do something you make some changes You see, they also make changes. It's a win-win, yeah. So you want to have a model. Kita orang Islam kan siapa kita punya, yeah. Contoh yang pertama, we highlight. Kadang kita pun lupa. That's why there's a hadis the prophecy. One of the tarbiyah yang patut kita beri pada anak, they must learn how to love Allah, and love the Prophet, and love the people that Allah and the Prophet love. Yes. Then they'll be safe. Sekarang dia tak kenal. Betul. They know what Allah want them to do macam kita suruh. Tapi they don't have the love tau. Mm. Because they don't understand why. Ya? Why saya mesti mm. begini. Why must I pray. In the Ramadan tak 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 lama datang. Mm. Why fasting again? Mm. Dia anggap fasting ini azab betul lah. Mm. Tak boleh makan, tak boleh minum. <laughs> you say, you have that problem. It's because we never orang kata uh, Except Ramadan as a special gift from Allah. Hadiah yang is we anggap ini macam susah betul lah. Okay, the the way we ex, we face Ramadan macam susah lah. Pasal kita tak understand the the value. We only take it as ritual. Ramadan apa nak buat? Ramadan Ramadan nak nak makan tak boleh ha? Kalau diizinkan kada bebas tengok lebih banyak tak 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 fast. Apa nah, saya kita ada undang-undang tak boleh makan tak boleh minum ini contohlah. So the best idol of course. The second is we see siapa yang family kita yang nampak berjaya ada kepribadian yang baik then we see you see you see your uncle here your auntie here you see the, your cousin all the good thing yang kita tahu we must keep on remind them. It is how we we move on. Don't compare. Ah, just remind. You kalau compare nanti ada. Ah, jelah. She's different. How can I be the same? <laughs> different mom. Ah, ah different. Yeah, I'm yeah. different. <laughs> But it's see, I, I would think memang it's true. The best uh, um, apa ni example to give to our children is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because right now, jangan pergi K-pop jauh-jauh. Influence the hijabi influences. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not talking about Malaysia Kere. everywhere. Kere. They are also, I'm sad to say, giving the wrong um, yeah. idea. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, then they, then our children follow mm-hmm. them. You know. Yeah. Um, So that is also a challenge, you know. And then they can say, "Mom, you see this." They put the word to do me. Yeah, mm. they can say, "Iman go up and down, mom." Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You know, you see, mom, iman goes up and down. Fair now. Yeah, yeah, right. Whatever they say, mm-hmm. kalau betul kita kena terima tau. Agree ya? Ah, kena agree. Then okay, it's true. Iman. Ah, iman will macam kata there are four type of iman. Mm. Iman yazid walay yang kus. Naik saya tak pernah turun. Kus. Wow. Ah, itu iman para. Nabi-nabi oh, okay. para uh, pada solihin ya oh. ada iman yang naik tak turun pun tak mesti <laughs> itu iman para malaikat. Oh. Jadi malaikat dia don't have option dia buat apa yang Allah perintah tak perintah dia tunggu. Uh, so dia punya iman stable <laughs> naik tidak turun tak iman yang ketiga uh, iman kita naik turun naik turun itu yang kadang-kadang kita lebih tinggi dari malaikat. Kadang kita lebih rendah dari binatang. Oh, betul, you know, you can go higher than the angel, worse hmm. than animals. Hmm. Itu yang kata ada sumarodat nahu asfalah safilin. You become the lowest of the low, because we can human can become worse like animal kadang-kadang. Okay. The, the fourth ada iman juga, tapi iman keep on decreasing, hmm. because dah suasana tak membantu. Dia semakin involved in all this. Uh, drug lah, semakin turun, semakin turun. 
So our is, is true, we are in that level, up and down, up and down. But then, it is, that's why it's our duty, when you're down, I'm here to remind you. When you're up, Alhamdulillah. That's why we're here. And see, you terima kan, anak kata, iman kita ini up down. Bagus, you dah terima. And that's why you and your iman is up, we also learn from you. But when iman is down, we have to remind you. Macam your immunity lah, dah tunggu. Kena makan vitamin C lebih sikit lah. Boost up sikit. <laughs> Contoh, kita kena. Then they will try, ah, betul lah. That we, actually, dengan anak-anak, we cannot give up because we know they are going to expose a lot of things that is very, very negative. We know that the danger they are in is not like us. Pasal kita dah lalui kan? Hmm. Jadi at least kita dah alert. Itu pun kalau kita yang alert. Saya pun dah tengok ada orang They are not just like you and me. They are grandparents, got children. Grandchildren dah berpuluh lah. Bukan muda. Tapi, some of them behave like itu. Pakaian dia pun dia. Tengok, saya masih muda. Masih banyak lelaki suka saya. Oh, yes. They are talking to their <laughs> grandchildren like that tau. Kita tak terfikir tau. Tapi it happen in reality. Bila Allah bagi kita sehat, rupa pun bagus, akhirnya kita angkuh lalai. And then we never learn. Tak terasa malu, that's what the prophet said. One of the things that kita orang tua tua patut reinforce to our children from young, malu. ada perasaan malu. malu. Because when you tak ada perasaan itu, is dalam tasdahi. First nak di masjid, the Prophet give a very, very straightforward reminder. Bila hilang malu, Buat they will do anything they want. Everything goes already. Wow. Kalau dia ada malu, dia nak buat depan Sekarang orang takut, malu. dia malu. Okay. So this one yang saya kadang reinforce anak-anak. Do you like one day that people talk bad about you, talk bad about your parents? Why must they talk bad about my parents? It's me, kalau I commit the sin, saya tanggung. Mm-hmm. Because when they arrest you, you got your IC. Your IC ada nama Papa you. <laughs> you, know, you mau tak mau, Papa you mesti diberitahu. Mm-hmm. Then they're going to call, eh, ini anak you kan? Uh, the so Papa is going to come already. <laughs> Lain kalau orang kata, apa nama anak ni, siapa nama ibu, tak ada. Mau nak ayah pun tak ada. Uh, you see, you cannot run away. This is reality. If you are good now, Mudah-mudahan, kalau you jadi orang baik-baik contoh, you jadi contoh untuk anak you pula. How do you feel? If you get a righteous children, kan? how do you feel? So you want to have righteous children, try to be a righteous children now to your parent. Then you see Allah will love you, Allah will protect you. Tapi kebanyakan anak-anak, dia boleh buat apa yang kita suruh. You boleh tunjuk Allah suruh Nabi suruh. Tapi they don't have the love lagi. Love them. Love them. That's why everything, the power of love. Betul. Kebetulan yang menyanyi orang lain pula, kita tak menyanyi power of love. Bukan. Bukan. The power of love is very, very important. And that's why when a person loves some Allah, that's why Allah katakan, kalau you sayang, you kata you sayang Allah, then you must love one man only, Prophet Muhammad. Qul in kuntum tuhibun Allah, fattabi'uni yuhbika. Allah will love you. One Allah love you, can you imagine that? Something they don't understand. Though. One Allah love you, the first thing the Prophet said, Allah will summon Gabriel. Panggil. Oh Gabriel, Fulan bin Fulan, aku Allah sayang dengan dia. Gabriel have to love that person. Then Gabriel will summon all the angels. Langit bumi. Allah dan angel will love this person. You all must love this. One everybody has been loved by Allah. You are safe wherever you go. Subhanallah, subhanallah. You have nothing to fear anymore. Because Allah controls the heart of everybody. Even your enemy will love you sometimes. We will not harm you lah because mm-hmm. you are under Allah's protection. But when Allah hates somebody, sama juga. Dia panggil juga. Eh, Gabriel juga. Ini, aku memang ada like. murka. Gabriel oh, murka, malaikat semua lain murka. Then you see wherever they go, people yeah, don't like them. No people just make use of them exploit them, then they are not going to be loved by others. 
the power of love is important that we have to look into that. Kalau tapi macam what she said is very very important for parent. You will know the changes of your children. Okay, because kita dia besar depan kita, the slight change, huh? you all must more. must really come in already. Macam how important kita tengok dia fever dia mudi lah apa ke selera tak ada kan? Eh, you sehat ka? Mula nak temperature lah nak check kan? Eh, nampak panas badan. What do we do? Immediately we attend to. Either kita bagi medication or bawa ke klinik. Why? We want them to be safe. Physical punya issue, we respond very fast. But when come to mental and spiritual issue, kita lupa. Pasal kita tak sensitif sangat. You boleh tengok kadang-kadang cara dia cakap dengan adik beradik dia. Bukan dia dulu dia dia yang datang gerak kita subuh kadang-kadang kan kita pun boleh tertidur juga. Oh dia ketuk ketuk pintu subuh papa alhamdulillah. Yang like me sometimes my cucu kan ketuk ketuk kita dah bangun tapi dia bilik belum buka dia ketuk. Fajar fajar make us feel so Love. happy dah. Yeah, yeah. Now that they have that value. Yeah, uh, even kadang-kadang apa value dia kita tak tahu lah. <laughs> Tapi nampak kita wah. Now they wake up early for prayer. Example saja. Nah. All these are lesson learned lah actually. In reality, tak boleh kita lalai dan tak boleh kita buat uh, tak apa lah. Pelan-pelan lah. Benda yang kita nampak bahaya untuk iman dia, we have to act very fast. So love, value, reminder. Eh? Yes, oh, subhanallah. Very, very subhanallah. important. Thank you so much, Sheikh. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Brother Aaron. Thank you so much, Sister Diana, for today. Such a beautiful discussion. Daripada kita cakap pasal dulu, kita macam mana tak layak nak jadi role model. Kemudian kita dah cuba nak jadi role model. Kemudian cakap pasal anak-anak ada role model yang lain pula. So, apa yang kita boleh simpulkan kat sini adalah we are the parents. We should be the role model for our children. Sebab kalau kita buka role model untuk anak kita, dia akan cari yeah. role model di luar yang daripada yang subuh-subuh yang tak betul nak uzbillah min zalik. Thank you so much for today share. Sebelum kita tutup minta dibacakan sedikit doa. Um, kita bacakan tasbih kifarah sama-sama dan insya-Allah um, thank you so much jangan lupa untuk subscribe AKY Media uh, ataupun pergi ke social media Al Khadim semua platform semua kita ada we have so many activities for young children for apa for youth untuk yang mak-mak dan abah-abah ada banyak perfecting my solat, perfecting my recitation, perfecting my marriage so many activities right now barakallah so insyaallah see you again kita tutup dengan tasbih kifarah dan surah nah. al-asr syekh sebelum kita baca itu ingin saya tambah uh, kenapa kita disuruh oleh Allah allazina yazkuruna Allah qiyama wa qu'uda wa ala junubihim supaya orang beriman ni selalu ingat Allah keadaan berdiri duduk baring that mean anywhere anytime so that we will be protected ya yeah? mm-hmm. Because ujian Allah itu banyak. Who can protect us? Only Allah. So that's why this value is important to remind our children. Morning prayer, the askar, yes. while you're eating, while you're traveling, leaving the house, you know. All these are very important. When they remember Allah, mudah-mudahan, they realize, oh, I'm a Muslim. Amen. I have to behave like a Muslim. I should talk like a Muslim. Uh, we hope for the best. So mm. the ending of kita punya discussion pun the prophet remind us to at least you don't forget to say uh, doa tasbih kifarah dan sekali sekali nabi akan ingat baca surah wal asri. So we will baca uh, wal asri dulu. We are carry dengan tasbih kifarah. I will explain a bit the meaning for yeah our benefit. Auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal asri. إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالحس وتواصوا بالصبر سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك مقصود سورة الأسرى الله إنعكان كتاب sebagai manusia bukan sebagai seorang muslim saja as human wal asrى إن الإنسان Lafi Qusrin Demi masa Manusia Asal manusia Dia tetap rugi Semua keadaan dia rugi Allah beritahu Illa lazina amanu Kecuali mereka beriman Beriman masih rugi 
Sebab itu iman mesti diikuti dengan amal. Amal masih rugi. Amal mesti amal yang soleh. Kerana kalau amal tidak soleh, tidak diterima. Rugi juga. Ya? Kata Nabi, Man amila amal laysa alaihi amruna fahuwarat. Siapa beramal amal yang kami tak suruh, tak ajar, tidak diterima. Rugi lah. Watawasabis sob dan watawasabil haq. Kalau kita ada amal soleh, masih rugi kerana surat itu tak habis di situ. Ruginya kerana you dah baik, tapi you tidak bawa kebaikan pada orang lain. You are selfish, masih rugi. Islam is about sharing, not just for yourself. Yeah? Dalam kita menyampaikan nasihat, membetulkan orang, we share with other, masih rugi kalau you have no patience. So, ayat ini walaupun dia ringkas, tapi mengandungi banyak Peringatan yang sangat penting and relevant at any time. Itulah surah Al-Asri. Ya? Supaya kita tak rugi. Dan akhirnya Nabi suruh kita baca tasbih kifara supaya dosa-dosa kita diampuni Allah. We have a lot of sins but Allah love people who commit sin and they repent and Allah love to forgive them. Itu yang Nabi kata, bacalah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Maha suci engkau, wahai Allah. Segala puji adalah milik engkau. We have to acknowledge who is Allah first. Puji dia, glorify him, we thank him. Then we say, Ashadu ala ilaha illa anta astaghfir kawal. We acknowledge that he is the only true God that we worship. Kemudian kita minta maaf atas kesalahan kita, kelalaian kita, dan kita bertawabat pada Allah. Nabi kata, siapa yang baca ini, dosa-dosa kecilnya dihapuskan. Amin. Itulah harapan kita. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alamin. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alamin. Sekian saja saya Fin Jamal untuk Parenting Pening. Jangan pening-pening. Dengarlah apa Syekh Hussein dia buat sharing dekat AKY Media. InsyaAllah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.